Bigfoot, undisputedly the world's most entertaining cryptid. Join the Reverend Jeff Kelly and your old pal Wes as they discuss the best and worst the media has to offer. Movies, books, TV shows, commercials, all on Bigfoot Entertainment Weekly. program may contain graphic language, including sexual innuendos, infantile penis jokes, some swearing, and random outbursts about big hairy squatty balls. Mm -hmm. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're easily offended, you can just fuck right off, piggly wiggly little son of a bitch. This program may contain adult language, content, and graphic discussion of gore. Parental supervision is required. That's right, required, because I'm your host, Reverend Jeff. And that guy sitting over there, he's your old pal, Wes. That's right, we are live on Bigfoot Entertainment Weekly. And as we promised, we're bringing you crappy camp. I mean, happy camp. Sorry (laughs) about that. We're going to get that one right out of the hat. We told you last week this one was just as bad as last week's show, but damn it, we were going to watch it and review it just to get it the fuck out of the way. So let's get over to our old pal Wes and talk about happy camp. No, you had it right at crappy camp. (laughs) I mean, don't get me wrong. Happy camp, cool town. Don't get me, you know, cool, but they portray you in movies as you guys are a bunch of scary people. <laughs> a bunch of yeah. jackasses. All right, let's talk about IMDb here for just a moment. IMDb gives us the description of Happy Camp as a... Oh, I'm sorry. These stupid people write their own. Okay, so in the vast wilderness of Klamath National Forest lies the small logging community of Happy Camp. With a population consisting of only a few hundred souls, this mysterious mountain town has become world-renowned for its staggeringly high number of missing persons cases. At the age of nine, young Michael Tanner was adopted by Walt and Sandy and brought to Happy Camp, where the couple were raising their young son, Dean. Upon Michael's arrival, the two boys shared an intimate bond, and for the first time in Michael's life, he had a family. After living in Happy Camp for only two years, however, tragedy struck on the afternoon of October 22nd, 1989, as Dean Tanner was abducted from his family home. Michael, being the only witness, oddly had no recollection of the violent crime. To this day, there is still an ongoing investigation into the truth behind the disappearance of Dean Tanner, along with 627 other missing people from the town. Of happy camp got to present day 20 years later take it away wes did you not catch a sparkly little gem while you were looking at imdb or how imdib or however you spell it but one of the producers is drew barrymore drew and barrymore that of this movie drew i don't barrymore. believe it no, yep. I don't believe it. It's uh, got to be a different. Drew, it's got to be a different Drew Barrymore. No one's no one's going to believe that. No, I promise you, Drew Barrymore <laughs> is a producer to this movie, Crappy Camp, and it's fitting because I mean, well, everything she's in. She's an so. executive producer. That just means she helped get money for it. She didn't have anything else involved. Yeah, she must but... be the aunt of somebody. She's got to be a relative of somebody that was hey, that was involved with this Crappy she, Camp. She. <laughs> Touched it and <laughs> made it a shitty movie. There you go. I don't know. I like some Drew Barrymore movies. Yeah, um, E.T. Yeah, that was- e- e- E.T. was good. Friggin' uh, her and Adam Sandler in 50 First Dates. Ah, see, you killed it was right hysterical. There. Anyhow. It, yeah. Anyways, she sucks. Anyways, so we get to this <laughs> old thing. You're getting this scene of this old cabin, right? And then you're getting like this radio dispatch and like you're finding out like it's this kid calling 911 saying his brother's right, missing yeah and... my brother probably got taken away yeah basically <laughs> yeah it is in your seeing pictures of an old cabin and then it's like a news report and you're seeing miss tanner Sandy Tanner, right? The mom talking about the boy gone missing and everything. and They're not and, doing anything about it. No one's going to help us. 
Yeah. And then you get one of the locals that was in Bigfoot County, and he's going to be in another one of the movies. He's tatted up, this guy, and he says, <laughs> which I fucking believe him, that fucking Happy Camp is a violent, a very violent fucking place. And it was on the news report. That's Ben, Blink, <laughs> Blen, ben Blinkle. He played the local with the tattoos all over his neck and his eye. And he is an actual real resident of Happy Camp. Yeah. Yeah. So he 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 seems like he's being himself right there. <laughs> Anyways, so like the movie starts with the dude having this like nightmare, right? And it's, you know, like he's waking up, he's freaking out. And like you see that they're like filming him like kind of paranormal activity style, you know, while he's sleeping. And then you get the bloody scream, happy camp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you get the blood curdling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, like, the next scene that, like, they start up, you just see this whole, like, they're driving, and you get the sit- feel that, okay, this is going to be a found footage kind of movie. You know? So they're, they're driving, they're talking, and they pull up on, like, this RV you know, and like they're like, "Oh my God, what's this piece of shit?" What is this you know? piece of shit? Does it even yeah. drive? <laughs> Does it even move? Why do I feel like a registered sex offender right now? <laughs> yeah. So and it just happened. It just happened to have all these greasy cameras. Yeah, that was weird. It was like a porn van or something. That's what I was thinking. They were definitely shooting porn in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> something was bad going and on, and they under. just like they just made a joke about it. Like, well, let's just put that in the movie that we rented this porn van. <laughs> I don't know, dude, because that was a weird fucking van. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so they meet up at the RV with you get these two other characters. So you find out that it's this dude, you know, uh. Who I'm gonna call Cakes for the rest of the night. <laughs> cakes, yeah, little booty cakes. <laughs> well, you and, got Josh and Michael, yeah. and then the chick, and right. then you've got Jessica who played Sandy Tanner. So you got Michael Tanner and Sandy Tanner who are not in the movie. Well, Michael but, Tanner's in the movie, but yeah, why would his name be Tanner and he? That doesn't. That's such a weird movie. Anyways, well, so they adopted him, so they would have given him his la- their last name. Yeah. So while and they're you driving, got Teddy, you yeah. got Teddy and Susan and Anne, and I don't know who the rest of these people are. Is this yeah, I don't is know like the shittiest about. IMDb. Look, crappy camp. Get it together and at least get a damn decent IMDb together. Blah! Yeah. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, so the dudes like they're in the yeah. RV and driving to where they're going, and they're. Uh, Dude's basically explaining why they're returning to Happy Camp and what they're doing. So you get a you learn right away that okay, they're filming something about his life and like he's returning back to his hometown to maybe stir up some memories of what happened to his little brother, All right? Because his little brother got taken or whatever. So, anyways, they drive by that creepy freaking statue that's out in Happy Camp, that fucking Bigfoot statue that's like. Hairy as shit. That thing's one creepy looking thing, man. It is, dude. I don't want to catch that thing in the woods, that's for sure. Yeah. So, you know, that's cool. I like that little statue. So, like, you know, the RV is starting to crap out, like, in these scenes, and they keep making hint of, you know, okay, it's going to break down. And sure enough, they fucking break down right at their campground. Of course. They're just, they're just, get their bear and then. Yeah. So and, you know the thing's going to fucking break down, but yet you're going to continue on into the deep woods where you're can't going to go camping anyhow, just yeah. to make it that much more of a horror to get out of there later. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, like, <clears throat> they get it after getting to the campground, they go and uh, they. Two dudes do an interview with the guy's old friend, Kyle, I guess is his name. Kyle. Right. Yeah. Now, if you pay attention to this interview with Kyle, the same van from Bigfoot County that dropped off the guy from the butt rape scene is parked outside of 
Kyle's house. And you know what's funny? Kyle didn't even get a credit in the movie. For being his old pal, Kyle, and for as much airtime, video time, screen time as this kid actually got, didn't even get a credit in the cast. Hmm. I wonder why they remain nameless. Are these hey, real, real movies <laughs> being put out of real movies? <laughs> They'll never get us now. We may They'll never be sure. Team. It's yeah. all a lie. <laughs> so anyways, they interview a bunch of residents and scary people. And then uh, they're talking to that old, same old guy that like he's like missing like a whole bunch of his teeth, front teeth. And he's. You know, the old dude, and he's talking about, like, you, you got to get out of here before those things come out. You yeah, know? you don't want to be around here. This is a scary place. Yeah. Scary place, especially at night. Yeah, so then they cut to this scene, and then there's, like, this really creepy bathroom scene, and the bathrooms are just tarps, <laughs> and the broads, like, sets the camera down, and then, like, the lights go out, and you hear shit, and then someone, like, like, the whole time she's yelling, hello, and, like, someone just gets up and leaves and stuff like that, you know? Like, and it's not Bigfoot, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Bigfoot's not fucking closing the tarp and shitting in fucking this fucking rest stop, you know? But <laughs> No, but I can tell just... you what. You know, I went, I went, I, I've been squatching with the great Kip Morrill quite a few times, and uh, we, uh, we had gone to Bluff Creek, through Bluff Creek, to go up to the Redwoods uh, on one of these trips. And we stopped at the place that you're supposed to stop if you're going to stop overnight at the rest area, the overnight stop place. Yeah. And on their board were just hundreds yeah. of missing people on that. And I mean, I'm out there, you know, Kip's in the truck, in the trailer, he's making coffee, you know, he's just, no, 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 he's chilling, he's done this a million times before. I'm just out creeping around this dimly dark littered high mountainous forest friggin', you know, rest stop with bathrooms that are, you know, that's just that creepy, again, friggin' sexual predator friggin' feeling. Yeah. And then right in front of you is just this giant friggin' board of missing ass people from that rest stop yeah it's like that was the last known place they were it's just like, all right i gotta go back to the trailer and chill with my boy and not get taken by bigfoot because it seems like he comes right through this rest stop and just carries people away i i know that rest stop and that rest stop's bathroom has like some like six 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 shit. Yes, it does. You're exactly right. It's, it's got some scary shit in it, man. It was like I think I'm gonna wait till morning. I'm gonna pee outside all night. I'm gonna wait till daylight to use that some bitch. It's scary. Yeah, it's a creepy place. Dude. I've been to that rest stop a couple of times going out that way. But uh, so after this whole scene, they go meet up with the dude's old friend again, and they're at like this like. Pool hall bar trailer, like the <laughs> Julian's, Julian's, <laughs> Julian's Dirty Dancer. Dirty that's right. They're pulling up in Sunnyvale for a to, to the bar. Yeah, so then they get this idea from that to oh hey, let's go to the cemetery and fucking go look at the dead people gravestones and stuff. So then, dude, Michael, I call him dude through the, my notes, but Michael or whatever, he wants to go look for his brother's stone, you know, that has his name on there and shit. So then that whole, you know, that's a boring scene. So let's just go past that scene. <laughs> Is that where they went seeing, in? Yeah, he sees the stone and then they film him standing there and then he walks up, says they're okay, blah, 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 blah. Then they walk away. Does and that then make it the, time for Grundle Theater? Uh, no. Okay. See? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but you're getting a preview of what's to come, people. That's right. Grundle Theater. Yeah, but so anyways, so the right at they're leaving the cemetery is when the truck drives by all violently and shit. And oh, they're like, yeah. what the hell was that? And then the guy, the local dude, is like, that's probably your first warning. You should get out of here. <laughs> He's like, what? what? A truck run- drove fast by? Like, <laughs> oh, that's-, that's a warning. Okay, well, thanks for the heads up, because I think I would have missed that subtlety. Yeah, so then, like, in the middle of the night, they wake up to this loud bang, and then they find out that a rock had been thrown at the back ladder of their RV and just smashed that motherfucker up. So then, like, 
The next it wasn't scene, just, just a rock. I mean, let's be fair. It was a it pretty was a big, big boulder. Yeah, it was a big rock. Basketball yeah. size boulder. I mean, it yeah. wasn't human. No human was picking that up and bashing it against that. That. Oh hell no. No, I mean it was definitely Biggie. Biggie was yeah. around. But so then they wake up and chicks like freaking out because dude's gone. And so she wakes up the other guys, and then, like they end up getting dressed. They go out there, they they look around a bit, and then they're trying to fix the RV. And then he comes walking up, you know. And there's that whole scene, and he has the clamp that saves the day, so they can go drive. So they drive to the dude's old house where he used to live and everything. And then yeah, so what he, was up with that place, dude? Talk about that creepy is. It was like a like a studio cabin thing, and it they was, had two cots that. Sl- yeah, it was the, like, is that wow. where your family lived? Did you have a man, a husband, a wife, two kids living in that little ass cabin out there? I don't think so. That was hardcore, dude. That's that's, that's <laughs> Beverly Hillbilly style, there, boy. Let let me get the 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 banjo going. Yeah, so then dude like is like going through memories, wigs out, says he'll he's gonna walk back, he needs air, so he fucking disappears for a long ass period of time. So they're going around town looking for dude, and it's like a fucking ghost town. There's like no one are out. They go to the sheriff's station, sheriff's not there. Fucking I pushed that like a long ass time ago, but you know, hey, it's okay. That's right. When a band just starts going, you definitely gotta start looking around. Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah. So they they end up walking through this fire station, and they go upstairs, and they find this like wall of missing people. It's like just fucking all the people that are missing the open in the cases, fucking county. Yeah. yeah, and then fucking they see that it is brothers on the, that wall and shit so then like as they fucking leave that scene they find michael fucking like yelling at a bum lady pushing a fucking like <laughs> thing of cans and holding a baby and shit and he's like harassing her or something and then she starts saying some shit back to him look here and, uh, cracker, Lord, cracker. <laughs> yeah just a whole bunch of weird shit so then four people Walk into a bar and get drunk. There we go. And that <laughs> now would make it time for the first ever BEW Grendel Theater. We hope you enjoy. Where the hell did I put it? Huh. Oh, I can't find it. There it is. Huh. And finally, words are replaced with fuck. The musical. It's a touching made-up story of Mrs. Lingual Torture of the English language. Here from Mrs. High School Teacher, Mary, last name withheld for anonymity. Fuck you, Miss Jigglenecksky. On the challenges of learning just what fuck means today. We catch up with Wes on the North Lawn of the school, engaged in conversation with other school children. Let's listen in. All right, so it's 50 and 8, 35 and a half, 8. And if you guys want some wax, I got some killer shatter right now for 40 a gram. But don't fuck around, guys. Cash only. Hey, Billy, what's marijuana? What's what's shatter? I don't know, dude, but whatever this guy's selling, I'll buy it. Billy, you're a four. What, where do you get money? Tune in next week to find out what silliness we'll get into next. <laughs> You're four. You're four. <laughs> I do that without a straight face. I, I died. You heard me. <laughs> that was live on the recording. I couldn't clean that up. I can't. Like the wow. more that I look at this picture, I like really look like John Candy. Ah, uh, you, you you could be his kid. You just need to grow a scraggly ass beard. But I don't think he can grow it as as glorious as his was. No, I need hormones or some shit in my fucking <laughs> face. Gonna have to go borrow Bruce Jenner's balls. Yeah. I think they're in a jar somewhere. <laughs> I'll just get you after monthly trimming, and I'll just start. Infusing. That's the thing is, I I don't even trim. I, it, <laughs> it grows and falls out. You know, that's the way that shit works. Anyhow, so we got yeah. four people getting drunk in a, it, it, at Jillian's bar in Sunnyvale. And while they're getting drunk, they're interviewing townspeople. So you're like, you know, getting several interviews. A dude that knew what happened, you know, that was going on and everything. 
And then you get this other lady talking about shit. And so they go back to the RV and they find it, like, covered in, like, fucking shit. <laughs> like, literally. shit. Yeah, literally. literally covered in shit. And, so they're, like, fucking, they go to the, like, lady in charge of the place and they're knocking on her door saying what happened and everything and fucking. <laughs> well, that must be your third morning. <laughs> Yeah, she shuts the light off and shit, and then so while that's, you know, they're like, what the fuck's going on? They hear gunshots, and you hear an old man yelling and shit, so then fucking, they run and fucking, and bail out, you know, because obviously gunshots, hello. Well, yeah, dude, gunshots are in the night. When the guns start going off, I get the, I tend to get the hell out of the bar, too. Yeah, so they're driving, and the fucking RV breaks down. Of like course it on does. On the side of the road and shit. So then fucking the dude goes to look for a part to fix the RV by going to some house. He said he saw a light at somewhere in the woods, okay? Now, while they were driving, he saw a light at this place. And he thinks that he's going to get a part from this. To, and they're walking in the middle of the woods, all right? So while they're doing so, they end up at this dude's fucking old house. And it's not the house with the light that he saw or whatever the fuck, so it didn't make sense, really. Is that your old cabin? Yeah. yeah. And so they're walking well, it wasn't. up. Yeah. yeah. They're walking up, and the chick hears the noise, and she turns her head with a quickness, and then turns back around. Dude's gone. Gone. It was like, All it right. was straight up like, like children of the corn gone. Like, yeah. I mean, like just, he couldn't have gotten that far away. Without no, it him. was it was definitely wormhole. He definitely stepped through a wormhole of space and time for wherever he went. Johnson to came out. That's grabbed it. Grabbed him. I need to talk to you. And fucking, <laughs> then dropped Borrowed him off. some power from the Oregon mystery house in the vortex. Yeah. And uh, and he blinked from one place to another. Yep. And uh. So like it was creepy. I'll give it that. I don't yeah. understand why, but it was creepy. She finds yeah. She ends up fucking running around the cabin and she finds him standing there, right? And he's just like staring off to where his brother went missing. Then it cuts to a scene of the two dudes that stayed with the RV and they're starting they're a, fire, to a fire because they're going to scare away all the animals. As they do that, they start to hear shit like walking around them and shit like that. So then. It cuts back to the dude staring at the fucking thing, and he remembers totally now what happened. And he's flipping out, and he's wanting to leave, and all this shit. And then fucking it goes back to the two dudes at the RV, and then they're like, they lit the fire, they turn and they look. There's Biggie standing right there. Good old CGI, CGI. furball body. Bald is Mr. Tobal Clean. Fit. I called him Squirrel Squatch because that's what he looked like. He looked like a squirrel. Well, this is what happened because right after those dudes see Biggie standing about 20 feet away from them, well, not standing because you pay attention to this. Every time they show Biggie, there's glitches on the screen, and that's the only time the camera is fucking glitching is when you see Biggie. So what the fuck is Biggie like something Electrical? that fucking – Yeah. yeah. Is he All electromagnetic right. or something? Yeah, so right after those dudes see him, then fucking the dude's standing there, and he's freaking out and telling Broad, like, we gotta get out of here, da, 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 da. and then he looks up, and fucking, like, from 30 feet up in the air of a giant redwood, here comes fucking monkey squirrel squatch, <laughs> squirrel squatch. <laughs> and jumping out of the tree, and, and just grabs dude and fucking gives him the fucking Mike Tyson he... punch out to the fucking <laughs> wall, and just lays dude out, and then disappears yeah like the don't chick's know standing went. there screaming and then the squatch is gone well i guess the cgi money ran out yeah that so then, we'll see no it didn't because the chick r- grabs the dude wakes him up they run inside this cabin and the door gets fucking psychometrized <laughs> the fuck <laughs> off of the fucking hinges and you see the glitch matrix squatch about 50 feet away, and he kind of walks and does the fucking, you know, matador bullshit and fucking digs his feet in the ground. And you, you kind of hear that, you know, like he's getting ready to fucking charge and shit. And 
Basically the same thing. And he fucking goes at him. And, like, oh, man. Yeah, glitch squash. Great. Yeah, so then it cuts to the scene right after that. Why not? Why fucking stick with that? those people getting attacked? Let's show some more. Now, mind you, I, I have to cut out for just a moment here. This is, like, after the first hour of the hour and 15-minute movie. Yeah. At minute 59 is when all of this started. Hint, hint. If you want to make it a 20-minute movie, start at <laughs> minute 59 and you won't miss anything. Yeah. It's seriously ridiculous. So the the smaller dude friend gets slashed and burned, right? And then fucking so they run up and they find that dude's body and they're like, oh, God. Oh, my he God. had his head busted. Oh, dude, that Sasquatch threw him and his head landed on that rock, split his head wide open. Oh, dude. that was the other dude. That was the other guy, but then fucking, yeah, the other dude got, the first guy oh, got fucking slashed oh in the God. gut. That guy, oh my God, that guy, the, the, let's go, okay, look, I, 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 I like gore. Y'all y'all know I'm a, I'm a gory type of guy. I'm, I'm rooting for the Sasquatch in most movies. Not in this one. I'm hoping the people get away. But whoever the FX guy was on this movie, I'm sorry, dude. You should be your, shot your gut, in the back yeah, of the head. Your, gut, your, your guts look like shit. shit. Your blood didn't look real. I mean, it was. And look, it, it, if you're gonna give us a CGI squatch, at least give us some damn real guts and not friggin' twisted pieces of rope soaked in ketchup. And I'm pretty sure there's no reports of Sasquatch being completely hairless from head down to his bald chest. squirrel squatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So da, 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 da. after da, da, the other da, da, da. dude, the friend gets his head cracked open on a fucking. Rock, this big ass boulder rock, dude, Michael or whatever gets dragged off, and the chick's all freaking out, and you know, then nothing happens to her. And yeah, well, just it, this... the Sam Squanch yanks bringing dude out by his feet, and you yeah. see the camera drag. That's like that's like the classic. I don't have enough money for a Sasquatch, so we're just gonna make it like appear that there's a Sasquatch, and they grab him by his feet and drag him, and all you see is the camera yeah. being dragged away. At least fucking exists showed the fucking Squatch while the dragging was happening. Right, you, you know saw the Sasquatch saying? pick him up and drag his ass away. I mean, that's yeah. Look, if you're going to make a Sasquatch movie, please have a physical Sasquatch. Yeah, we don't even, really care how even, bad it is. It's, even it's the, real re- better the one with the fucking buggy-eyed fucking Squatch that take the blonde helicopter <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, look, a bad Sam Squanch outfit or suit is still better than shitty CGI. CGI. That's right. Popeye man bear pig. Man bear pig. Yeah, but anyway, so the movie cuts out to fucking a Caltrans video of this broad just walking down, just fucking... Walking the looking, highway, yeah. yeah like looking she like she's the walking the, the walk of shame from another town. She <laughs> partied so fucking hard. Coming and, home on Sunday morning, yeah. they closed you without Saturday night. So then fucking here comes a cop, and what does he do? He takes her right back where, where she's fleeing from yeah what is up with <laughs> that that happens in texas chainsaw massacre too and that just kind of upsets people you shouldn't do that don't make people go back there just take hey. their word for it shit's fucked up but i mean how do you make thing- someone stay the fuck out of your town you completely paint it a way that if you go there you're either gonna get butt raped killed go missing you're gonna end up as a little white cross in a cemetery did you say, did you say butt raped Yes. <laughs> you get the chills every time. Dude, I so yeah, so it just it, it it ends with you know fucking just interviews with the locals again, but this time they're telling their actual stories, so they're not acting in the movie anymore. You can. It was say. probably the original interviews that they did with those people before they even put them on 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 screen. Yeah. yeah. And it seems they're professionals at it now because they've been in a bunch of them. Yep. So all I can say is remember the lost. Remember the <laughs> lost. Yep, that's right. I got to give this a thumbs down and a half. I mean, it's a Bigfoot movie. We're excited when Bigfoot movies come out. You got to watch a Bigfoot movie. I've seen this one several times. The first time I watched it, I wasn't even sure it was a Bigfoot movie. 
It was a monster movie of some sort, but I wasn't sure it was a Bigfoot movie. But apparently, with the tie-ins and everything else and the footprint, yeah, it's supposed to be a Bigfoot. So, Bold Sam, Squanch, Squirrel Squatch. Yeah, watch it, <coughs> cringe at it, and move on to the next one. Yeah. Wes, what are yeah. you doing? <coughs> well, I say watch it just so you can understand who the fuck I'm talking about when I say that all these people are in all the same fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to call that one dude Blake, that, Blake and we're going to call him Rune Face from now yeah. on. I, I'm, I'm not really going to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down because I'm just like, yeah, try it, you know. <laughs> it's like butt sex. Try yeah. it once. If you don't like it, don't go back. It's gonna bore the fuck out of you. I'm not gonna lie. It's, Skip the first hour, go all the way to yeah. minute fifty nine, and just watch the last twenty minutes of the movie, because... and you'll be much happier. Yeah, if you skip all the way and see the fucked up Bigfoot first and know the letdown that you're building up into, <laughs> because you spend an hour of just anticipation, like okay, at some point. There's going to be a Bigfoot in this Bigfoot movie, yeah. right? You're going to hear a noise, and it's going to be like, whoop, or Rawr, or something. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Bigfoot Not- makes no noise. No noise. He glitches your video screen. That's about it. <laughs> so, yeah. It don't it better off just watch this video and move on. Watch the, this Bigfoot Entertainment video and move on to the next one. Yeah, Which, and then watch the, the next 20 one's... minutes, and then come back, watch our video again. And You'll comment, comment war with Jeff. He loves answering all your questions. He'll answer them at 3 a.m. if you want to hit him up. I do. I do. I love <laughs> my fans. But I will answer any questions that are actually He'll put out there. He'll autograph all movie posters that he's been in. <laughs> my fans know I will give them a digital autograph anytime they would like. They can print that out, <laughs> put that on their wall, just like the real thing. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap it up for this edition of the Bigfoot Entertainment Weekly. Next week, what are we doing, Wes? Fuck it, fine. Um, beast amongst the uh, men, maybe. Beast among men, if we can find it. If not, we're probably going to do Willow Creek instead. Yeah. We'll find out. <laughs> Tune in next week to find out which one we do. Another upsetting movie. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. I'm your host, the Reverend Jeff. And over there's your old pal Wes. We say thanks for That's watching. me, everybody. And may the squatch be in your fuck hole. <laughs>